The Magyars, ancestors of modern Hungarians, originated from the four-step region south of the Ural Mountains, an area inhabited by Uralic-speaking peoples. Their ethnogenesis is linked to the broader Ugric branch of the Uralic language family, which they share with the Kanti and Monsi peoples of Western Siberia. This shared ancestry is reflected in linguistic similarities, particularly in terms related to kinship, nature, and daily life. Over time, the Magyars migrated south and west, eventually separating from their Siberian relatives. This movement brought them into contact with Turkic tribes who influenced their language, culture, and societal structure. Magyar society was organized into clans and tribes, led by chieftains who wielded both military and political power. Pre-Christian Magyars practiced animistic and shamanistic beliefs, worshiping nature spirits and deities associated with the sky, earth, and ancestors. Shamans, known as Taltos, played a central role in spiritual and healing practices. The Magyars used mounted archery and swift cavalry tactics, which they perfected in the steppe environment. Magyar clothing reflected their Uralic roots, adapted to the harsh steppe climate. Wool, leather, and felt were the primary materials, with some use of silk and brocade acquired through trade. Men wore loose trousers tucked into boots, long tunics belted at the waist, and fur-lined cloaks for warmth. They adorned themselves with belts decorated with metal plaques, a tradition borrowed from steppe cultures. Women wore long dresses, often layered with aprons or sleeveless overcoats. Embroidery and woven patterns, inspired by both Uralic and Turkic motifs, were common decorations. During their early history, the Magyars were primarily nomadic or semi-nomadic, so their architectural traditions centered on portable or temporary structures, such as yurts. Influenced by Turkic and steppe cultures, the Magyars used portable tent-like dwellings made of felt stretched over a wooden frame. These were ideal for their mobile lifestyle. When they began to settle in the Carpathian Basin during the 9th century, they adopted more permanent structures. Early Magyar buildings were simple, constructed with wood and wattle and daub techniques, reflecting the influence of Slavic and Avar neighbors. As their society transitioned to a sedentary lifestyle, the Magyars began constructing wooden fortifications and small settlements with defensive earthworks. For this video, I gathered the genomes of eight medieval Magyars from 10th century Hungary. I ran the DNA samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis, the purchase link for which you will find in the description of the video, along with the purchase links for these eight Magyars DNA files in 23ME format. With PCA-based ethnicity calculators such as Global 25, they resemble Siberian Tatars and Bashkirs, who, like them, are the result of intermixing between Uralic and Turkic peoples. Four of the eight samples were male, and two of them carried Y lineage R1A and Z645, while one sample carried Uralic N1A1, and one sample carried Y lineage Q1. The Magyar sampled were very phenotypically diverse ranging from entirely European or Middle Eastern in phenotype, such as SCAK7, TCS2, or SCAK6, to Uralid, to entirely Eastern Eurasian phenotypically. Despite this grand diversity and the presence of European phenotypes among the Magyars, Asian phenotypes were more numerous among them. Those samples with European phenotype prediction also had Asiatic influence in the phenotype oracle. For example, the first two-way oracle for TCS2 is Phenonordid, which is a Uralid influence phenotype, plus Indo-Nordid. The predominant eye color among the Magyar sampled was dark brown, but a couple of the samples also had hazel, green, and blue eyes, showing the diversity of the Magyar population. The predominant hair color among the Magyars was black, but one sample was predicted to have dark brown, and two samples were predicted to have dark blonde hair. The predominant skin colors among the Magyars were olive and white, but two samples also scored light brown as their predicted skin tones. The predominant hair textures among the Magyars were straight, curly, and wavy. No sample scored kinky as their predicted hair texture. Almost every sample had a snub-shaped nose, except one sample, who scored a Greek-shaped nose. That sample also scored Iranid as its predicted phenotype. The Magyars had an average predisposition to male pattern baldness and mostly shorter height with six samples scoring below average height and only two samples scoring taller height. 
The Magyars had an average predisposition to kidney stones, average predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, and low predisposition to migraine. The Magyars had an average predisposition to lupus, high predisposition to gout, which goes in contrast to what we have seen with Europeans who tend to score lower for odds of gout and lower odds of eczema. The Magyars had average odds of polycystic ovary syndrome, average odds of age-related cataracts, and average odds of age-related macular degeneration. The Magyars had average predisposition to epilepsy, high predisposition to asthma, and high predisposition to vitiligo. The Magyars had a high predisposition to myopia, low predisposition to corneal astigmatism, and average predisposition to primary biliary cirrhosis. Regarding their dopaminergic profile, the warrior profile was more common among the Magyars, suggesting that as a group, they had higher dopamine levels and poorer stress tolerance. Six out of eight Magyar samples scored higher for D2 receptor site availability, suggesting a lower propensity for no-go learning and higher odds of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. The Magyars had average odds of Tourette's, average odds of ADHD, average odds of depression, and high odds of bipolar disorder. The Magyars were predisposed to autism, with four samples scoring higher odds of autism and only one sample scoring lower odds of autism. TCS, too, was the only sample who carried European variants for lactase persistence. The Magyars were predisposed to average levels of empathy based on OXDR genotypes, with two samples scoring lower and one sample scoring higher empathy. The Magyars were unathletic. Five samples carried the unathletic XX genotype in ACTN3s are 577X, and only one sample carried the genotype associated with increased athletic performance and explosive power. The Magyars had average homocysteine levels. The Magyars had low odds of ischemic stroke, low odds of atrial fibrillation, average odds of deep vein thrombosis, and low odds of a wide range of cardiovascular issues. The Magyars had low odds of type 2 diabetes and average predisposition to Alzheimer's disease. The Magyars were predisposed to lower odds of obesity, with six samples scoring average odds of obesity and two samples scoring lower odds of obesity. The Magyars were strongly predisposed to alcoholism, with six out of eight samples having an above average predisposition to alcohol dependence. They had lower predisposition to syncope. The Magyars had average predisposition to epithelial cancer on the basis of 8Q24 genotypes. The Magyars had low odds of breast cancer, average odds of glioma or brain cancer, low odds of thyroid cancer, and low odds of testicular cancer on the basis of KITLG genotypes. Moving on to blood cancers, the Magyars had a very low predisposition to polycythemia vera on the basis of JAK, two genotypes, and average odds of leukemia. The Magyars had high odds of allergies, and all eight of them carried risk variants for various rare genetic conditions. The most common condition that they carried risk variants for was familiar hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, abbreviated as FHC. The Magyars had average predisposition to autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. Six out of eight were strongly predisposed to ankylosing spondylitis, four were predisposed to rheumatoid arthritis, four were predisposed to type 1 diabetes, and no sample was predisposed to multiple sclerosis. The Magyars had low red blood cell count, average telomere lengths predisposing them to intermediate length of lifespan, and mostly good iron levels, with the exception of three samples. Two samples had low iron level bordering on anemia, and one sample had very high iron levels that indicate hemochromatosis predisposition. Regarding blood type, the most common blood type was A, followed by O and AB, and no sample was predicted to have blood type B. Thank you for watching my video until the end. All useful links, including links to research data and purchase links will be in the description.